Good morning, children. We are here back again for your online classes. Now, I forgot to tell you last time that I will be taking language in class 5. Last year, I did only literature, but this year, I will be doing language. So, please, children, pay attention. One thing I must tell you last year, when I was correcting your whatever lessons or whatever work we gave, your language has become really bad. You know, your sentence construction, your writing. I mean, the first thing that we have to concentrate, even if we are doing any other subject, is our language. If our language is not correct, then even while answering questions in geography, history, or any other English subject, we will not be able to answer properly. And for this, I am going to start with sentence. Now, if you look at the board, it is sentences. Now, sentence is what? Like, sometimes when I am in the class, you know, a child just comes up to me and says, Man, toilet. Now, what does he mean by man, toilet? Yeah, it's not, you one can't understand. Of course, because I am a teacher, so I understand because that what you mean to say is, can I go to the toilet? So, when you say man toilet, that is not a sentence. It's just words, two words. But what you have to say is, man, please can I go to the toilet? That is a complete sentence. Have you understood? Many of you talk in, uh, you know, words. You are not talking sentences. Like suppose if you see on the board, there are A and there is B. Rajna school. Number one. Number two. When the grasshopper, Sri Lanka and Island is. Now you see these three sent, uh, not all sentences, rather phrases. They do not have any meaning. Rajna school. Now what does Rajna do in school? Does she dance in the school? Does she go to the school? Uh, is she going to school to study? When the grasshopper, the grasshopper is an insect. When the grasshopper, what? When the grasshopper dies, when the grasshopper flies, what is it? You have to be precise. Sri Lanka and island is, now that is a complete mix-up. Sri Lanka is the name of an island, but over there you have written Sri Lanka and island is. In the same way, now in B, we have Minu has three shirts. Now, Minu has three shirts, which means that we know that how many shirts Minu has. My brother has cold coffee. Proper sentence. Here we are telling what my brother has. Where is the teacher? So that has to be a question mark for there. There is somebody asking, where is the teacher? So the difference between A and B, A doesn't have proper sentences at all. You have to just think and um, see what does it mean. Whereas B, over there we know that we know has three shirts, my brother has cold coffee and someone is asking where is the teacher. So children, this is one of the most important um, part of our grammar where we have to build proper sentences and make sentences when we talk to somebody when you write like suppose you have a teacher tells you come on write about my school my school big my school many children now that is totally incorrect you have to think now what thing I go to home. Now there is another word. I go to home. He said to her. You must be saying, you know, that you don't know how to use and form correct sentences. Now there are, there are some words, uh, the phrases rather that you use. I go to home. Have you heard each other saying? Yes, of course. She did not came to school. I told to her. Now children, these are all wrong. The first thing is, even if you make simple sentences, you have to do it. Have you understood? 
And one thing you must remember when you write it down, you should begin with a capital letter. Capital letter like look. N. This is Meena. This is capital letter. And one thing, it must end with a full stop. Many of you, you know, children, you forget to put the full stop. And you just, you know, Meena, Meenu has t-shirts and forget the full stop. Or if like, um, you know, you have, where are you going? Now you have to put a question mark. Another one is, oh, it's such a beautiful day. Over there, you have to put an exclamation mark. Now, if you open to your grammar books, now I don't know how many of you have bought your grammar books. You, you know, we have this over here. A group of words that makes a complete sense, that make complete sense is called a sentence. A sentence, again I told you, begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop, a question mark or an exclamation mark. Exclamation mark is like this, question mark is like this and full stop you know. Now these are basics. These you keep learning from class 1 and it continues and continues till the end of school. And not only should you write correctly but you should speak correctly. Now I will read from page 7. She washed the dishes before the guests arrived. Now that is a complete sentence. Begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop. The children were making sand castles on the beach. What were they doing? The children were making sand castles on the beach. The sisters spent the evening baking a cake. How did the sisters spend the evening? You can't say the sisters spent baked cake. That's completely wrong. The sisters spent the evening baking a cake. They went hiking on uh, Sunday. What did they do? They went hiking, means walking on Sunday for stop. She has never seen a hamster. Hamster is a small animal. All these groups of words begin with a capital letter and end with a full stop. They have a subject, she, the children and a verb, wash, were making, you know. And they make complete sense themselves. You know, like a sentence must contain an action word. An action word is a doing word, verb. And also contains a subject. Who is doing it? That's what. Who is doing the action or the doer of the action or the person who is doing the action. So they include an action verb, a verb and also contain a subject, a person who is doing it and the object that the person undergoes the action. And of course like I've told you, sentences begin with a capital letter and end with a Full stop. Have you understood? Now, like, uh, suppose like this word over here, it's just a phrase. There's a difference between a sentence and a phrase. Have you understood? And of course, children, I am going to tell you to make some sentences. Some of you, another thing I wanted to tell you is that, you know, children, when you make sentences, another thing, many of you have forgotten, is that you write like this, you know. Suppose this is the margin one. You write the word. Suppose school. The word is school here. Have you understood? School. You put a dash. I love. Now come here. Going to school. To school. Have you understood? Yes. And over here you will underline school. Now many of you, what you do is, I love, and then you know, it's just putting going next to the margin. What you do is, you put going here. And you leave this space. Please do not leave this space. This is right. 
I'm going to search this is the way. I know you've been taught before, you might be saying, why is man saying it again and again? Because I just got a few, just a few responded to my, the work I've given. You are thinking the writing is so pathetic. I'm telling you children, you have to improve your writing. Just because I'm giving you work doesn't mean that, you know, you're just sending me any way and anyhow. Please don't. Do it carefully. There's no fast rule that you have to send it immediately. You can send it in the evening. You can send it the next day. But please do it properly. This is the beginning of a new year. New academic year. And children, one thing I want to tell you. Last year was the you know, pandemic. So everybody was thinking. Now you are used to it. You have to relax and do your work. Just don't think. I've got a lot of complaints from parents saying that um, my child doesn't study. My child is not bothered. But listen, you missed a full year last time. Full year. And that is not a joke, children. So you have to do your work properly. Have you understood? After some time, if you have no... And then, of course, children, if you don't understand, I told you. Only a few have sent me the numbers and the name on my personal WhatsApp. But I want to tell you that please take it seriously. If you have a problem, you can call me up. And anyway, children, now please go through whatever I have told you and I will send you some homework. So do your work. Good morning and thank you, children, and take care of yourselves.